Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your laptop a mobile hotspot or a router. Alright, and this will work just like if you had a router and you wanted to connect a wireless device or another laptop to a router, but except um, you would be connecting it to your laptop using it as, as a router. Alright, um, so first you want to go to connectify.me it's not .com, it's .me, or you can just Google it, but the link will be in the description. Alright, so once you're here, you want to click on free download, and this program is really free. It's not a trial. You can keep it forever. Alright, and before I start, uh, you should know that this only works with Windows 7 uh, and Vista, and I'm not sure about XP, but also it does not work with Windows 7 Starter Edition, which is what comes in most media laptops, right? and I have tried it and Windows 7 has blocked um, the ability for you to use your laptop or Ethernet card or whatever as a transmitting device for like Wi-Fi or anything like that for you to share your internet connection alright so you want to click on free download and it's going to take you to this um, CNET download website alright so just click download now and just click here alright you can either run it or save it I'm just going to go ahead and run it because it's a really simple install and it's one megabyte alright so run let me close these windows alright just hit agree and then this is a really simple install. It'll take one minute or less. Alright, right now it's stopping Connectify because I already have it installed and probably running. Alright, now the setup is done, and let's run Connectify. And I'm sorry uh, if my computer is being a little slow right now, it's just because I'm recording the camera and my computer screen with Camtasia at the same time. Alright, so you're going to get a window like this, and... Um, you, you're gonna get this little thing here all you're gonna do is um, at the beginning you might get an install wizard I mean a setup wizard but um, it's easier if you do it right here alright so the Wi-Fi name this is what the the device is gonna display as a network the network name so you basically type in what you want um, um, the network to ad identify itself as. So I'm just going to put iPod because I'm going to demonstrate it using my iPod. Alright, and the password, which is the WEP or WPA or whatever you want to call it, uh, you have to put, I think it's a, uh, yeah, it says the max or at least eight characters. Alright, and then I'm just going to go ahead and set that up. Um, just eight characters, and right here you select the uh, where you want the internet connection to come from. You can select no internet sharing, which will just connect to the laptop, but you won't have any internet. And right now it shows two connections for me because I have the Ethernet cable connected to my laptop, and it's also on Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to click local area connection, but it will work for any of these two. I'm just going to select this one. All right, and once you enter this information in you're pretty much done. All you have to do is just click start hotspot and it's just like turning on your router basically. So starting hotspot it'll take maybe a minute. Alright now the hotspot is up and running so let's test it out and see if it actually works and displays itself as a network. So alright let's go into the settings here. So you get, I'm gonna go just um, click on 
uh, where's the Wi-Fi here? Here it is. All right, so it it shows right here. You can see that it says iPod. All right, that's one of the networks here, and um, right now it connected automatically because I have done this before and everything. But let's just connect to the other one real quick so that it disconnects from iPod. All right, now just click on iPod and it'll ask you for the password on whatever device you're on, or if you're on a laptop, it'll be the security key. And I just set it to one two three four five six seven eight. Oh uh, crap! All right, I type that in now. Join, and there you go. Now you have internet. Now you can see here the little signal thing is really high because I'm really close to my laptop. And let's try to play a YouTube video just to show you that you do have internet. So, YouTube.com. All right, and the internet is pretty fast. It's the same as you were connected to uh, your normal router. All right, so let's just uh, click on a video here. All right, and play. All right, the video is playing, and. Um, you can see that the internet works, the video is now downloading straight to my iPod. Alright, and this is very useful if you're like, if you're on the go and you have a laptop, you can just run this program and um, you can make it into a mobile hotspot. And you can even share your internet connection with other people in your house. For example, if you had a laptop, um, like let's say right next to you, the room where you have your router. You can and then um, like you can run this program, and then you can use it to connect your other laptops that are farther away from the router, but closer to your laptop, and it'll be the same as if you were right next to the router. All right, so basically, it's turning your laptop into a router. All right. So if this tutorial was interesting and it helped or whatever, just please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Alright, so goodbye.